Last week we did a Rush Builder Hall 9 repair guide and an updated 6 builder guide to help you get ready for the builder base redesign update in 2023. What's going on my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show and today we have the top 5 Builder Hall 9 attack strategies in 2022. Now this can be greatly contributed to some massive help from these two players who are ranked in the global top 100. And that was super cool that they were able to reach out to me and get us the most up to date content on what's working, what doesn't work, and it'll also help you push a little bit to get more resources. So if you watched last week's guide and you were wondering about my progress, we did upgrade that lava launcher to level eight and we got it back down to level nine. So we're making some progress on the defenses. Inside of the star laboratory, we completed the hog glider upgrade to level 18. We started the upgrade on the drop ship to level 17. And then you'll also notice that we do have a new base design. Thanks to those top 100 attackers they provided us a couple of new base links which will be in the description below for you one major note as we progress into these armies you will not see any night witch armies i know a lot of you guys are like they're super popular in the lower trophy ranges but according to these guys as you get up into the top 200 within the trophy ranges you are not going to have any success with the night witches so they recommend other upgrades instead so we're going to start out with an army that's more your style on the YOLO department. We got all of our army camps being the hog glider. We are looking for a lot of defenses that can be directly stunned by the hog glider and preferably a guard post that can be targeted by the battle machine. This army will generally struggle against bases that have one compartment like the one that I'm currently using. And when it comes to the actual execution of this attack, this guy is going to start out with the battle machine and then he's going to drop his hog gliders to start targeting some of these defenses. He is not dropping them all at the same time, kind of like how I was doing the other day, which was not working out at all. <laughs> so he's got hog gliders moving in, taking on cannons. He's got one going after a double cannon. Another one will target the other double cannon while the battle machine is taking out the guard post troops. That's super important because I've done this so many times where I've dropped my hog gliders to go inside the base and those guard post troops will take out your hog riders and completely ruin the entire attack. I mean, you'll clear literally all the defenses, but then you don't have enough troops to take down the builder hall and you'll lose your battle machine and then you'll get like a one star or something. It's super annoying. But in this case, we got most of the defenses down. Hog gliders are working on the giant cannon going to clear the air bombs. And at this point, as you can see, all the defenses are gone, but the rest of the base is still very much intact. Builder hall down and there's only like one hog rider. Next up, we have the mass sneaky archer army now this attack strategy should get about 64 percent or higher and it rarely fails against your opponents the biggest key though is the execution and patience so if you got to go yolo you're more than likely going to fail with this army this attacker is starting out with the bombers and trying to pick off buildings as he goes now there are some notes in regard to this army always try to open up the four corners of the base and use the battle machine to take down the builder hall and then you're going to follow it up with your sneaky archers on each building army camps require one sneaky archer collectors require two defenses require three and storages require four try to avoid using this army on bases that have center placed builder halls that's a major note so as you can see here he's got sneaky archers kind of picking off some buildings here and there he drops a few more they're going to go after the archer tower and the cannon he's got more to the left taking on the elixir pump and as you can see he's just very patient with the attack and that's something that i suck at <laughs> straight up man i'll just be dropping troops all over the place like let's go let's go let's go let's go and speed it up that way you can see the rest of the attack three on the cannon he's going to take on another cannon he brings in another one to go after that cannon that had some damage on it more sneaky archers to take out the archer tower and the air bombs 20 minutes later here comes the battle machine from the top he still has 10 of the sneaky archers in his queue battle machine ability will be used to try to take down the builder hall but he's going to get a little distracted by the guard troops something else to keep in mind 
more sneaky archers to take on the crusher the remaining sneaky archers to make sure that the builder hall goes down so sometimes you might fail with the battle machine but that's why you're not spamming the sneaky archers you're going to make sure that you get the percentage to get the win for army number three we have the boxer giants bomber cannon card and rage barbarians also known as the jai bart now there are some steps associated with this army in order to be successful with it to do this you will want to use the battle machine to hit a wall for as long as possible to distract the lava launcher then use the giants on the flank of where you open up the base so that the giant cannon does not shoot your cannon cart so what does this look like exactly so he's going to start out with a couple of rage barbarians on the far right taking out some of the army camps and then he drops his bombers to start working on that entry point now these are all level 18 troops so you might not be as successful if you haven't leveled, leveled the troops up yet let's go ahead and speed this up that way we can get through this entry point bombers are going to work they're going to open up a gigantic hole in the bottom of the base on the far left side we have the builder's hall tucked back behind the mega tesla and the giant cannon he's going to start bringing in a couple of rage barbarians to look for traps he takes out another building on the far left side and then he's going to drop that battle machine on the right to sit on the wall like we described in the notes so we got the boxer giants flanked we got the cannon cart spread out coming up through the center and the rage barbarians are starting to work on buildings on the outside and they're also picking up traps on the inside the giant cannon was completely overwhelmed because of the blocking with the boxer giant and the cannon carts have cleared out various buildings to include the builder hall right now battle machines on the opposite side of the base he's busted through the wall he's picked up a few more percentage and he's also blocked for the cannon carts to pick off a few more defenses and i think this attack is going to finish out in the mid 70 percent range let's see 72 percent he finishes out at 74 percent our fourth army is considered a simple strategy that is useful for getting to 5,000 trophies but is not very common for 6,000 trophies and above and the concept itself is quite simple you're going to use the super pekka to distract the lava launcher and then the other four super pekkas are going to be spread around the base in general vicinity on the same side with the battle machine that battle machine acts just like a super pekka minus the fact that he has an ability so we got super pekkas coming in from the top and we're trying to protect our cannon cards to pick off the percentage that the super pekkas miss one's on the far right side two are on the left side taking on the clock tower looks like we have a battle machine and a super pekka locked onto the builder hall and they're successful with its elimination as well as taking down that mega tesla there's also a super pekka on the giant cannon and remember that once the super pekka is destroyed it will turn into a bomb and do additional damage just like that right there and then our final army is considered a top 100 global army we got 24 of the beta minions eight of the baby dragons and four of the dropship now remember when it comes to all of these armies it does require a lot of patience and if you ever feel like you're getting super frustrated they do recommend that you close out the game and come back at a later time also so if you get on one of those winning streaks and you get a little anxious close it out and come back later on because that's what's contributed to their success now he does have his battle machine on the base which is currently distracting the lava launcher but since this is an air army that doesn't necessarily matter he's going to bust through the wall he's using a few of his beta minions to pick off buildings with their range since they do have that little special ability and the battle machine will clear out the star laboratory now he will get taken out very very early in this attack he's basically clearing buildings setting up for the rest of his army baby dragon up top working on a few buildings to include an elixir pump doing some damage to one of the guard post troops he also dropped a few of the beta minions back behind to get some damage on the hidden tesla which is basically kind of set it up perfectly for the funneling of his drop ships and his beta minions here comes two of the drop ships the third and he might release the fourth but he's got beta minions 
is backing them up, going directly into the air bombs, taking on the lava launcher, as well as a cannon, and then a mega Tesla and the destruction of the builder hall itself. On the far right side, he's flanking in with his baby dragons, trying to pick up more percentage. Remember that all these bases are really close or already maxed out. So you're not gonna be going in and three-starring every single time. You're trying to beat out your opponent because this is a PVP mode.